Hi, this is Larry Jordan. The following is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on using Adobe Prelude, the Creative Cloud edition. In this excerpt, I show you how to ingest tapeless media. So let's go to the heart of what Prelude is all about and click the ingest button. This opens up the ingest window. It's very similar to the media browser that's stored inside Audition or available to us inside Premiere. It allows us to view media before we actually import it. I store all of my media on a second drive. So I'm going to click second drive over here on the left hand side. That lists all the hard drives that are attached to my system. And my media files are stored inside the second drive, let's see, in a folder called Media Samples. Double click this. Now this is a simple QuickTime movie which I don't even have to to ingest through Prelude. I can just import it into Premiere. What I want to do instead is to look at the actual camera card that was shot. And notice down here I've got a, a camera card that follows my naming convention. MH03 is the project code because this was shot by Miles and Fran Hale of Model Railroad Builders. It was shot in 2011 and August 15th. It was the A camera. It was the third card they shot. I like that naming convention. So let's just double click. And now we're inside the actual card itself. And media files are stored inside the DCIM folder. Double click this. And inside that is the media folder itself. Double click that. And now we see thumbnails of all the different video. Miles and Fran design railroad scenery, which is what we see here. All the scenery was designed by them. Now I have three clips that I want to bring in. I've gone through and I've set my transfer settings, I'm going to transcode this, it told me where I'm going to store it, what hard drive I'm going to store it, what format it's going to be stored in, what metadata I've added, what files I'm renaming, click ingest. And two things happen at the same time. Prelude just sits there looking like it's dead. But notice in the corner way down here it says ingesting and there's a gold bar that shows it's about 10% done. You could pause it or cancel the ingest because what's happening is in the background inside Adobe Media Encoder it's going through and doing all the transcode work and all the ingest work. This means that Prelude is really just a front end. It's a front end to AME for transcoding and it's a front end to Premiere for bringing all this tapeless media in. It's a program specific specifically designed to make your life faster by integrating all the work of these other applications. Let's go back to Prelude. So we can monitor the transcode down here, which is just way too dull and boring. I'd much prefer to switch over to Adobe Media Encoder and watch it in there. But it runs in the background. If you wanted to look at other clips, and it beeps when it's done, if you want to look at other clips, you can be doing that because AME can do its thing in the background while you're busy doing your thing in the foreground. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all our videos for one low monthly price of only $19.99. You get access to more than 600 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.biz slash store and look for Webinar 103. Thanks.